the headlines in the southeast today. A day to celebrate or a slap in the face for residents. Opinions divided after Manson gets the green light for redevelopment. We're live with the latest. Good afternoon. Campaigners who fought for years to reopen Manston Airport say today is a day to celebrate after the government granted permission to turn the airfield into an air cargo hub. But opponents to the plan say the decision is a slap in the face for residents. Owners River Oak say they'll now push on with a £500 million redevelopment of the site near Ramsgate, creating up to 3,000 direct jobs, with freight flights due to start flying in and out of Manston in 2025. Local MP Sir Roger Gale has welcomed the announcement. I think that with the economy as it is at the moment, the case for the reopening in Manston has to be stronger even than it was when the bid was first put in. We desperately need more freight capacity. We know that we have to do much more trade with the whole of the rest of the world. Well, let's go live to Manston now and our reporter, Charlie Rose. And Charlie campaigners are overjoyed. Marcella, the road signs all over Thanet clearly say Kent International Airport. And there's now a chance after eight and a half years that those signs might actually mean something again. Those uh, in support of reopening this airport reckon it could be up and running again by 2025 with up to three cargo flights an hour and a promise, they say, of a huge economic boost to the area. They also reckon there'll be up to 3,000 new jobs. But when I press those campaigners on how many of those jobs will be filled by local people, they couldn't give me a definite answer. And that is one of the key concerns held by critics, Marcella, who say that today's news, it really is a slap in the face. Many of us are very opposed to this proposal on economic grounds because we don't think it's going to leverage in the jobs that we're being promised and we want to see details of that. On environmental grounds, how are we going to reach both for Thanet District Council and Kent, Count, Kent County Council, how are they going to reach their net carbon zero targets? And it's a huge problem for those residents under the flight path. Charlie, just how many flights a day are we talking here? Well, the campaigners reckon there'll be 20 to 30 flights a day to begin with, rising to 50 a day in a few years. The Green Party says there's no such thing as a zero carbon airport. And today's news shows the government doesn't understand the climate crisis. Now, we're waiting to find out whether or not there'll be a judicial review over this decision.